My dying skunks over there with the beavers, the ones who are dying of a disease I can't even pronounce? No, 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 no. We're ignoring them. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Planet Zoo here in Dave's Awesome Zoo, which is less than awesome because all of my animals are apparently sick. Um, ev everyone, everyone is sick. Literally everyone, everyone is sick right now. And I, I don't even know if we know what these diseases are. I mean, allegedly we're incubating them, but seriously, our vets are basically interns. They have no real medical knowledge concerning animals. I wanted to zip over to the tortoises and see if we have in any way solved the, the hard shelter issue. Are you dead? Are you, are you dead? Are you just moving exceptionally slow. You appear to be broadly alive. Okay, so talk to me about your habitat here. No, hard shelter. Hard shelter. We're just not getting the hard shelter here. Even though this is the hardest shelter I have ever constructed. And the capybaras seem to be into it. Oh, that's another tortoise. You also, even though you are literally inside a hard shelter. Dude, it's not getting any harder than this. Okay, cement walls, corrugated iron roof. I, it's not getting any harder than... Yes, I know everyone is diseased. Yes, I'm aware of that. Thank you very much. All right, what if I just get rid of this? I just, just get, just get rid of this. What is your problem over here? You can't find staff rooms. I don't know how to help you, Al. Al, I've got a lot going on. I don't know how to help you with that. Okay, let's, you know what? Slam it into pause mode here. Too much going on right now. Okay too much going on right now. Let's see if we can vaguely resolve the hard shelter thing. I'm going to put in a hard shelter. It's not getting any better than this. Okay, it's it's a shelter. It's literally under the shelter tab, you tortoises. I want to swear so badly at the tortoises. I deeply regret tortoises in every way, shape, and form. I don't want anything. I might just sell them. What if I just got rid of them? What if I just got rid of the tortoises? How about we just didn't have tortoises in the zoo? All right, who needs tortoises? They move too slowly anyway. That's really big. That's super, super big. That's smaller. That's much smaller. What if we did something like this over in the corner here? Okay. What if I put some bedding on it for you? You're not particularly big. What if I did small bedding over here? Yes, I know I'm editing things. Thank you, game. All right, what if I did this? Okay, do you like that? Just please, God, say you like that. That's all I want out of you tortoises. Just just be content. I don't even need you to be happy. Nope. The hard shelter actually just went down. <sighs> okay, do you want a bigger one? Hey, bigger shelter. I'm going to give you all of the varieties of bedding. Okay, small, medium, and large. I'm not giving you extra large. You're not a rhinoceros. You don't possibly have any need for that. Okay, come here. You, Sparky, come here. Okay, we've gone up halfway. We've gone up halfway. We're halfway to having met these insane tortoises' needs about hard shelter. Now, terrain, again, I did ask you to slam it into pause mode, game. There's a lot going on. Uh, what, could I, what could I be doing with you for terrain? What would you ideally like? You don't have enough short grass or sand. Okay, that I can work with. That, that costs me nothing, thank you very much. I'm hemorrhaging money here. I'm bleeding money on this loan that I created. Created, took. Uh, that's a path, Dave. That's different. I'm very upset about tortoises here. Short grass. You want short grass, kid? I got short grass for you all day, man. All day with the short grass. Okay? I can't make any grass any shorter than this. You'd like a little... You don't have enough long grass now. You don't have enough long grass. Okay. Right. I'm sorry. Wait, do you want... Do you want less short grass? I'm very confused by you. So you've got a number here. Ah, animal needs less short grass. Okay, you should probably hover over things and read them, Dave. And you need more long grass. Well, how about the capybaras? How are the capybaras going to feel about that? Okay, we've got other people to consider here besides you, you know. We've got our capybaras. They're chill on the short grass. You'd like more soil. Okay, you need more soil. You don't really care about the long grass so much, and you're fine on everything else. So you'd like more soil. You'd like more long grass. Okay, you need more long grass, less short grass, and you'd like some sand, but you're fine on soil. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, I need soil, sand, and long grass to broadly make everyone vaguely happy around here. Uh, do you have a preference for your soil, sir? Or ma'am, as the case may be. I'm not 100% sure. Do you have a preference for your soil? Would you like light soil or heavy soil? You know what? Give them a mix. Okay, give them a, you can put, I'm going to put some soil around the, the toys here, okay? I'm going to put some soil. Ar that is so not enough soil. Okay. And you'd like some more long grass. Well, how about all of this is long grass? Okay, there you go. There you go. Now you're looking a little bit happier. Now you just need a little bit of sand. How about some fine sand next to... Oh, that was a lot. Let's uh, let's reduce the size of this a little bit. Okay. That was a lot of sand. Okay, so how about some more sand right underneath you? Literally underneath you. I don't really have a lot of room anymore, so I'm gonna have to tuck some over here. Uh, make this a little bigger. It's not, not big enough anymore. Make it go back to big. Okay. Um, come on. Come on. Sand. Sand. I can't possibly fulfill all of these needs. Not not with the size of this enclosure. How are we kind of broadly doing? Like, like how how's your general thing here? Okay, you'd like some more sand. I get it, kid. How about the capybaras? The capybaras are basically fine with the terrain. The capybaras are broadly fine. They don't seem to care about long grass one way or the other, and they're satisfied with everything else. Okay, let's readdress the tortoise issue. So apart from sand, you're good. All right, how about everything else? Temperature. Of course it's too cold. Of course you're too cold. Why wouldn't you be too cold? Yes, I know. We are spending like an obscene amount of time talking about tortoises and dealing with tortoises because tortoises unbeknownst to me, unbeknownst to your humble zookeeper here, I thought tortoises were a fairly straightforward animal. They don't really do much. This guy is just laying here, playing dead. He might actually be dead, I'm not sure. He appears to be alive. I don't have anything on here that says, you're dead. Uh, but he's just, th th this, this. Okay, oh, come here. I need a good shot of this. This might be a thumbnail. Come here, you. This, this is requiring all of my attention right now. All of my attention. My dying skunks over there with the beavers, the ones who are dying of a disease I can't even pronounce. No, 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 no. We're ignoring them. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, Mr. I lay on the ground and play dead. But apparently, your needs are so incredibly fussy. You're like a rich socialite. You're just never satisfied. No matter what we do for you, you are never satisfied. The capybaras are satisfied. Capybaras are basically chill. They have a little issue with social. Is it too much or too little? The space. You have a correct with uh, an issue with space. Okay. It's, it's not a great issue. You're basically fine. You're basically... Look. Look how unstressed the capybaras are, dude. Or ma'am, as the case may be. I'm not sure. I use dude non-gender specifically, so you're dude one way or the other. All right. So the capybaras totally not stressed. You, Mr. Lay on the ground and do nothing, you do... I can't with these guys. Okay, what I'm basically seeing is I am I have made them as satisfied as, frankly, I plan to make them. That's about as good as it's going to get. Let's see if we can address the skunk issues. Have we... Ha, well, first of all, have we quarantined all these guys up? Is that in here? Um, why, why is there a raccoon here? Is there just a random raccoon here? Okay, there's no, there's nothing in storage. Um, it looks like I've actually got some money. What could I do here? I've reduced crime. Have no crime for three months. Yeah, that's because the only people in here are protesters. They don't have a lot of money. They're kind of famous for it, actually. Uh, you can't find a staff room. I will actually work on that. That I can do something about. Um, I think I don't think we can increase the amount of people who can go in the staff room. But at bare minimum, I can build you a new one. I do have this loan out, and I just got a, a little bit of money for doing uh, broadly nothing. So let's do a staff path a little bit longer here. And... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll probably put some more stuff in here. So let's put some stuff there. Okay, let's do something simple. Let's take care of my people here. So show me a staff room. Quarantine. Yeah, ignore the quarantine with the with the, with the six skunks. Let's um six skunks. That is that's challenging to say this early in the morning. Let's just build them another staff room. Okay, right over here next to the generator. This is going to be so relaxing for them. There you go, kids. There you go. I made the money reducing crime. I built you a staff room out of it. Now, how many of my animals are about to die at any moment? We've got three alerts about beavers. That is more alerts than I've ever had in my life about beavers. Grade one food quality. Can I increase that? No. 
No, but I bet I could research that and increase that even more. Um, who is dying? Okay, you're infected. You're infected. All of my beavers are effect- infected. All Basically all of my beavers. Oliver and Danielle are the only ones who have escaped the plague. The Great Beaver Plague of 2023. All right, let's, um, let's tentatively turn the game back on. Let's tentatively turn the game back on here, okay? I have, I, I just said this, I know, but I've done about as much as I'm going to do for the tortoises, okay? I have broadly met your needs. I'm going to tell you right now, tortoisei, tortoisisms, whomever you are, your needs are more broadly met than my own personal needs in Dave's life, okay? You're basically okay, all right? You got a little tiny bit of problem with hard shelter. You got a little tiny bit of problem with socialization. You're doing better than I am, kid, all right? You're doing way better than I am. All of my skunks and beavers are horribly plague-ridden. Okay, hopefully, hopefully my vets are going to deal with that. Hopefully. How many, uh, just reviewing staff, how many vets do I actually have? I got four of them. Two of them are probably doing research. Oh, I think I'm actually, oh, no, 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 this is an active disease. We should totally research that. Adelaide, um, we should literally know what this is, because apparently, even though you're a veterinarian, you don't, which is weird. I'm just saying, I pay you a lot of money, Adelaide. I, I hired you on the assumption that you had some sort of base medical training in regards to animals. Apparently, you don't. Um, now, Chris, why don't you research, I don't know, what, what are you thinking, man? We haven't done any research on any of these guys except the tortoisei, tortoisisms, torti tortoisei, torti anyway, the multiple groups of fussy tortoises that I have. Why don't you research skunks? That sounds fun. What I really wanted to do is something with my old enclosure here. Ah, uh, disease is life-threatening. Okay, do we have, um, do we have, do we have a vet? Yeah, vet urgently requested. Urgently requested, please. I'm going to lose all my skunks, aren't I? Or my capybaras. Oh, they have salmonella. Okay, I probably have to switch the guy I just switched from the thing to, to the thing. Okay, who was doing... I'm sorry, you're off skunks now, Chris. You're on salmonella. Uh, just quick one, man. It's basically raw chicken and stuff like that. So I'm just jump-starting you there. Just so you can speed run that one. It's um, Don't feed the capybaras raw chicken. And I think you're halfway home on that one, man. Now, what about, what about actually getting some new animals in here? There's the whole point of taking this loan, which, by the way, I'm bleeding out on now. Bleeding out. Uh, Jose's going to die soon. Okay. Uh, the inspector's arriving. Oh, God, he's going to bleed all my money out because I have protesters. Can we just keep him out? Can we just say, please don't come in here anymore? We're fine in here. No, there's so many people protesting so many different things. They're probably even protesting the slushy machine. They probably hate that too. Why did I put a pole here? Why did I do this? I just put a random climbing pole here. That was very odd of me. What's going on here? You're bringing something back and you're bringing something out. What did you, what did you bring back here? You brought back, what are you? Come here. Oh, you're one of the skunks. Okay. I guess research is over. Yeah, we're, we're not doing skunks anymore. Are you healthy? No, God, not even close. Okay, hang on. Slam this back into pause mode. Welfare, what's your problem? Uh, social. You have severe social issues. Okay. So you're too stressed. You're trying to hide. All right. I might be able to vaguely help with that. Um, do you guys have those burrows over here? I bet you'd dig those. I bet you'd be like wicked into those. I'm going to put some of those up. I, that seems skunk-like. Right? Um, animal burrow. Show me your your things. No, you're good for red foxes. You're... Okay, striped skunk. Perfect. Okay, striped skunk. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's put one over there. That, that doesn't look very good. It's kind of sticking up. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's terrible. No, just move that. Move that somewhere anywhere else, frankly. Uh, put one over there. And then let's do, let's do some more of these. Yes, I know what it is. I, I know I did a thing for it. Thank you very much. Um, let's do some more of those. If they're that like stressed out about like can I put one like way in the corner here I bet those guys would love it um because they wouldn't be viewed all the time and let's tuck one maybe over here that they're gonna dig this skunks are gonna be well into this they can hide from people all day long um you could I get you to live like maybe over here ish not really okay come over maybe here 
Yeah, there we go. We can tuck one in there. Okay. Let's go readdress the skunks. Um, I, I'm desperate to get some new animals in here. New animals have to come in. Um, I don't know why. I'm not going to treat them any better than I've treated any other animal. Oh, there's a skunk. All right. How did that help? Are you better with that? You, okay. You're still stressed. Maybe actually, you know what? Turn it on and off again because that cures a lot of problems. Uh, it's going up, right? Okay. No, it's coming down. No, it's coming way, way down. You're trying to hide. Well, I built you some burrows. You could go hide in a burrow. Oh, the beavers are loving this. The beavers are just loving this. What if I put a burrow in here? Okay, would you like that? What if I put a burrow? Can I? Yeah, I can get one. Oh, that's kind of neat. It looks like it's coming out of the rock itself, except I just made the mountain bigger. It's not a mountain. It's really more of a hill. Yeah, I'm kind of boned for space here. I can get this to fit over here pretty nicely. All right, hopefully that will help the skunk folk. Uh, let's go check you out. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? Okay, social is still a little dodgy. Everything else is up, though. Okay, stress is much better, uh, probably because you know you have a place to hide or something. Now, your terrain. Okay, so you have an issue with your terrain. Let's address your terrain, because that's something I can do for free. So you would like more short grass, less long grass. Got it covered. You don't even worry. You, the protesters, look at my landscaping here. Okay, look at me helping the skunk people. I don't know if they're people. If they evolve into anthropomorphic creatures, I think we're all doomed. Or at least it's going to get a little odiferous around here. Okay, look at how much short grass I'm putting down for the gang. All day long with the short grass. Get your protest signs. Go back to Starbucks. Leech off their free Wi-Fi. Stop bothering me and maybe get a haircut. See, the problem is they need long grass and short grass. I'm getting mixed messages from you guys. Okay, long grass and short... Oh, well, we're going to have to divvy up the enclosure there. All right, this is going to be the short grass area. And then somewhere else, we could do the long grass area. Okay, that's how this is going to have to go down. I don't have room for both, really. So go to long grass. I just, I just redid that as short grass. Oh, thank God, somebody's coming in and cleaning up around here. I... This is not really... Much like the other one, this is not really a big enough enclosure for me to do as much as they need me to do. I can't really make this happen. I'm just going to try and have to do my best. Yeah, guys, it's not big enough. I, I need. It's got to be one or the other, skunks. It's got to be one or the other. You're going to have to give me some, some parameters here. Yep. Yep, here comes all the fines. There goes all my money right there. Um, yes, I know we have sick animals. It's because I've hired terrible vets. They're just awful. You need more grass short, less grass long. Oh, I was doing it backwards, Dave. Make this thing huge. All right, we're going, we're going all whatever I just said with the short grass here. Okay, all short grass for you. Now watch, I'm going to like click on the beavers and they're going to need all long grass or something. Oh, yeah, we just lost another 750 bucks for another sick animal there. Okay, the raccoons are broadly happy with the grass issue, but not with the soil issue. And I have basically made almost this entire area short grass and it's still not enough for the skunks. Like, literally the entire enclosure is short grass, except for that little tiny spot over there. And they ain't satisfied. So, much like the tortoises, that's the best we're going to get around here, kids. That's as good as it is going to get. How are um, how are the beavers doing? How are you guys feeling about life? I bet you want long grass, don't you? Uh, what would you What would you like? You would like, uh, come here. Uh, actually, you're fine. You'd like a little bit more soil. I can put, I can put a little bit of soil in here. I don't, it's not going to help the skunks, but it might help these guys. There's another 500 bucks gone because we spotted a protester. Oh, don't worry. There's more to come. A right, little bit of soil. That's really about the best I'm going to get here for these guys. Yeah, that, that's going to have to cover it. Guys, yeah, so there's nothing much I can do with this. Um, I'm about to lose all my money because the Lord knows the inspector will find many other things that are wrong here. Uh, mechanic research is complete. That's cool. What did we do? We did something with barriers. Okay, keep going on that. No, no, Muhammad, you just keep rocking that out, man. Just see what you can find out. How many animals are about to die? Uh, Danielle, you're having a terrible time. You need more space. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, Danielle. It's a really big enclosure. Are you stuck in a box? Oh, no, okay, you figured yourself out. Okay, no, you were getting boxed up. All right, can I now? Can I now? 22 minutes into this recording... Can I now possibly figure out 
a new animal that could go in here. Dave, what are you doing, you insane man? You completely, you you can't take care of the animals that you've got. No, I'm aware of that. I'm, I'm fully, I'm fully conscious of the fact that I cannot take care of the animals that I've got. Uh, it's just that I need punters to come in and look at things, and they're going to get really bored looking at a skunk, because they can look at skunks in their backyard. I can. I saw one last night. Um, talk to me about an Ibex. The only thing I know about Ibex is they exist in RimWorld. That's the only thing I know. That's literally my only information about is an Ibex. Um, what is it? Where do you feel that you live? Uh, you live in whatever that's called. That seems very cold. It looks like you live in, I can't really tell what that is, Europe or the Middle East, somewhere around there. Uh, what do you, Okay, do you get along with anyone? Nope, you hate everyone. You just hate all animals. Okay, maybe not you. I mean, you look fairly easy to take care of, but I'm going to take a pass. Alligators. Boy, that would bring in the punchers. They love the alligators. I got a plan for alligators, though. I do. No, seriously, I really have a plan for alligators. Is this seriously an animal that exists? Look at that thing! It's like something off an alien planet. I'd expect to see this in No Man's Sky. Do we legit have these on the planet Earth? I am totally getting one of these to guard my house. I'll tell you what, if I'm a burglar and I come up on this monstrosity, I am out. I can't even pronounce you a, a babarusa. I'm going to say babarusa and call it a day. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Babarusa, you are so hardcore looking. What's your deal, okay? What, like, what are you into? You could have one male and a bunch of females, up to four. Does this really exist? Like, is there a, an actual zoo that's, that's cared for by real zookeepers and real veterinarians who do things way better than I do? Can I go, can I go look at one of these? This thing is so hardcore. Uh, so, again, what, what's your deal? Um, males fight for right to mate. Okay, so we really shouldn't have more than one male in here. All right, mature males related to alpha become outsiders. So if we have births and they're male and they get old, they're going to be an outsider. We should probably take them out of the enclosure. That's kind of what I'm reading into that. Otherwise, they're going to get in a big fight. Do you get along with anyone? Absolutely not. Good. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. With a face like that, you should not get along with anything. You're just a babar babarusa? Babarusa? Okay. I don't even know what these things do. I don't actually broadly care. I just think I want to own one. I can already feel the comments coming in. You're saying, Dave, Dave, you're doing it again. You're not really considering if you can take care of this animal before you buy it. You're basing your zoo-making decisions solely on coolness. And you're right. I am. This is one of the coolest-looking animals I've ever seen. I have to own this. I just have to. And I've got the magic leaf points to get the matching set. I'm totally owning this thing. Unfortunately, you don't have the, like, hardcore tusks coming out of your the top of your nose. That is so brutal looking. Um, but you still look fine, and we need one of you anyway. Uh, is this going to make any sense here? I have no idea. As with most things, I'm just going to get him in the park and hope for the best. No, really, I can hear you slamming your head against the desk. I can. Or the wall, or wherever it is you are. Maybe you're at work, I don't know. Maybe you're slamming your head against your desk... And your, your boss, if you're not already the boss, uh, because I figure everyone who's watching this channel is smarter than me and is probably an employer rather than an employee. But putting all of that nonsense aside, I can see you just slamming your head against the desk going, oh my god, he's done it again. He's never going to be ta able to take care of these animals. He can't even pronounce their name, but he's, going to, he's, he's just going to throw them in here. He's just going to, because they're so cool looking. Is that really an animal? Somebody tell me where there's a zoo that has those, and I will book a flight. Okay, what I will do to try to alleviate some of the other issues is I am going to make some hiring choices here. So I'd like to see another, well, I guess, intern vet. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're in. And another keeper. I'd like to see another keeper in here to make sure people are, you know, feeding maintaining, watering the animals, that kind of thing. I can't afford any of that, but I'm going to do it. Um, now, Chris, why don't you get... Ooh, wow, that's a... Ooh, you're going to cost me a lot of money over time, Chris. Why don't we get a, a couple of... You've already been scheduled to be trained. You're scheduled to be trained. Um, Al, why don't you be slightly better at zookeeperizing? Now, my new Babarusa just showed up there. I'm going to take a look at it in a sec. I did have a, a comment or two coming in about visibility. Um, could we just put this on permanent day cycle? If you know how to do that, please tell me. 
I searched all of these tabs. I can't find a way to put it on permanent daytime. I would actually be more than happy to do that. It's a little hard for me to see sometimes too. Um, and this thing is like one foot away from my face. So I totally get that uh, concern, that comment, like, hey, maybe we could put it on permanent day cycle. Don't actually know how to do it. Went through all the settings, can't seem to find it. So if you've got a way to do that, please just let me know in the comments and I would be more than happy to turn that on to uh, permanent daytime. I'd like it just as much as you would. In the meantime, I'm actually just gonna put some street lights up. Uh, that's actually in construction, isn't it? Yeah, lights. So let's get a few of these up. If nothing else, it'll just kind of illuminate for the, you know, the guests, the people who actually show up here. Let's put a light there and maybe a one right down in the... Come here. Come come here. Get the protesters out of the way so I can put some lights on around here. One there. And can we get one maybe like up at the corner here? Yeah, put one along there. Street lights in suburbia. It totally makes sense. Okay, let me check out my Baba Booies here. Okay, what do you hate? Uh, actually, broadly, the terrain is the problem. That's something I might be able to fix. How about your enrichment? Yeah, there's no food enrichment. That's true. Um, what is your actual first name? North something. North Sulawesi. North Sulawesi. So is this appropriate uh, for a North Sulawesi, or should I get um, something different, basically? Uh, show me your tags, please. North, North, North. Yeah, see, this is not appropriate for them. How about the small one? Nope, not appropriate for them either. What is it you guys like? What are you into? Uh, do you like this thing? No, you don't like that at all. How about the trough? Do you like troughs? Uh, yeah, you're into troughs. Okay, so let's trough you up here. And then I only have two of them. I think that should be fine. These ones can just get deleted. Uh, what is this, the water one? Oh, I should check out water. Yeah, show me, um, show me water stations. Do you like, are you into troughs here too? Is that what you... Are you just kind of a trough-based creature? Is that what we're going with? Trough, trough, trough. Yeah, you're into troughs. You love troughs. Um, I would believe a small one should work fine. Right? That, that should be okay. What is this? Oh, a block of frozen fruit. That was for the capybaras. I think they hated it. You probably don't want this. Actually, I don't know what you want. Um, do any of these things meet your needs? Uh, just, you know what? Here's the easy way to do it, Dave. Just click on the thing. Click on the things for the things. And then it'll be where you need it to be. Uh, no, no, not toys. I, I know what I mean. I can't make words happen. So, like, you were appropriate for the thing with the thing, right? I want to click on your thing. Yeah. Okay. Now, I should just only see the things for that thing. Oh, actually, you did like that herb scent marker. Okay, I'll leave it then. And you're into the sprinkler, too. Oh, great. That's a start right there. Okay, I've met a couple of your needs. Now, what? where did they go? Where did you put them? Oh, they're up here on the hill. Oh, look at that. They're kind of, Oh, yeah. You guys are getting a great view of this. Come here, come here, come here, come here. So your issues are broadly terrain-based. That I can do something about. So you want the you're good with the short grass, you'd like you'd like less long grass, and you'd like some soil and some sand. Okay, so you're not cool on long grass. Well, what if we started replacing that with soil and sand? Do you again do you have a specific soil that you'd like? Because I'm just gonna basically throw anything down. How about heavy soil in here? You like heavy soil? Yeah, you like that pretty much. Okay, because you're good on the short grass, so I can ditch that, and I'll just cover over any remaining long grass with this. So, more soil. More soil for you. Soil, uh, go, go. How are we doing on the soil? All right, we're up to 11% soil. Ugh, it's going to be a slow roll. All right, so far, so good. I've got them up to kind of meh on their terrain by just dumping a whole bunch of soil around here. I can get rid of some of the long grass while I'm doing it. So more soil, more soil, everybody gets more soil. Okay, what if we got off soil for a sec and we got into some sand? Uh, I'm going to give you coarse sand. I, let's make a beach. You know what? I think the guys deserve a beach. So you can have a nice beach right here. I hope you enjoy the bridge. It took more than a few comments for me to figure out how to do that. Also, while I'm up here, why don't I fix the hole in the cave? A couple of people pointed that out. I saw it myself and then just sort of ignored it for a little bit. Let's see if we can just fill that hole in nicely. It is raining out. I suppose it would be nice for the Babarusas if it wasn't raining inside the cave. Uh, bring that over here and seal that up. Okay, let's go back to uh, what was I what was I painting last time? Um, so soil, you still need a little more soil. You need a little more sand. All right, let's do some heavy soil up here. As I, I don't know, because we're putting heavy soil up here is broadly it. And again, take out the long grass while we're doing it. 
Uh, one of my skunks is about to die, but it's of old age. That one's not on me. Okay, that is not my problem. I can't do anything about that one. I do not have an immortality serum here. If that skunk dies of old age, I am fine. I am off the hook on that one. Nobody, nobody's coming back to me and saying, Oh no, you let your skunk die. No, 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 no. Father Time took the skunk, not me. How are we doing on the soil here? Uh, we're good on soil. Okay, we're good on soil. And you still like less long grass. That's fine. Uh, let's go back to sand. So you're good on soil. How about we sanded this out here? I'm not even sure where there is long grass anymore. I'm not 100% sure what their complaint is. It's probably hidden in corners. Yeah, there's a little, maybe a little tiny bit over there. Maybe a little bit more in here. All right. I don't know how the sand is adhering to the side of the cave like this, but it is. Just go with me. Oh, no, that's too little soil now. I got to put soil back in. I think much like the tortoises, this is going to have to be a question of compromises. You're either going to be good on soil or good on sand. I'm still not sure. Ah, there's a little bit of long grass. Actually, want, seeing if they've got enough soil, why don't you do that bit in sand like that? There's a little bit of long grass over in that corner. I know, I'm taking an inordinate... Ah, look at that. Look at all that long grass. Let me get a weed whacker in here. I'm taking an inordinate amount of time um, painting this little enclosure here. But I want my little babarusas to be happy because they're so hardcore looking. Tell you what, if I could just get a little tiny bit more soil in here... They'd all... Yes! Yes! You know what? And a little extra bit for good measure. Okay, I have met all of your terrain needs. Took me forever. Absolutely forever. Okay, uh, what else are your problems? Oh, you're enjoying the water. I actually have no idea if you could swim or not. But yeah, you, you seem to be into that. You're into that. Uh, so take, uh, take this out of here. So enrichment. We need food enrichment. Okay, um, could somebody actually feed the animal, please? Could somebody hastily feed the animal? Because they actually have no food. Now oh, we've lost a beaver to old age too. Did I do a thing? Oh, I removed protesters. I had no protesters for two months? Are you kidding me? Was there a bug? Is there a glitch? How could I have no protesters for two months? I've had nothing but protesters since the day this place opened. Well, definitely take my 2500 bucks. Of course take my 2500 bucks. Why would I not? Uh, you're throwing donations in for the Baba Booies here. What, um... Boy, we don't have a lot of education about these guys, do we? I didn't put up any of those signs or talking points or anything like that. Let's get a few of those in there. So let's put uh, like a sign here. And we'll just I'll just kind of coat the place in them, so to speak. And we'll have another one kind of up in here. Uh, vaguely, sort of, sort of like this. Okay. And let's put another one. There are not a lot of people over here right now. But I would like to get some stuff over there to attract them as best as I can. So let's get this over here, like that. Okay, get out of all of that for right now. I'll I'll work on, on the education part of this. So yeah, you tell people about the Babarusas here. And you, come here, you also tell people about the Babarusas. These signs don't really have seem, a, seem to have a major impact. It's not really educating them that much. And I get that, it's just literally a sign that's telling you what's inside this enclosure. Oh, the Babarusas are about to mate. Oh, I'm glad I got the matching set. Again, is anyone going to feed the Babarusas? Is that, is that what you're doing? Are you coming in to feed them? I would really appreciate that. No, you're just checking on them. Ah, uh, well, you should discover very shortly they have no food. That should be something that is um, quickly dealt with, please. If you could just feed my Babarusas. One of them is pregnant. What if we put like a music speaker up here too? Like right on the wall. What can I, what can I play out of this? Uh, we could play African Tall Grass Savannah. Okay, is Tall Grass Savannah the band or is Africa the band? Because I'm familiar with Asia, and I'm familiar with Toto, who did the song Africa, or something about Africa. Anyway, at some point in time, um, uh, somebody from Toto is in Africa. It's a very famous song. I, I now it's stuck in my head. Thank you. Um, so I don't know if this is Africa the band and their song is Tall Grass Savannah. If so, what kind of song is it? Is it kind of groovy? Is it kind of funky? Is it more of a techno thing? I don't know. How about we did Saharan Oasis? That sounds kind of fun. Oh, they kicked the ball in the water. Oh, that's fun. Now the ball is stuck in the water. I can reset that. I know I can reset that. You don't need to tell me I can reset that. That research is complete. Great. Good. What did you research? Uh, something that I can't possibly begin to pronounce. Cool. Could you... Uh, who's working on that? Could you get off that for a bit? 
Adelaide and go to my Barbarusas, please. I want to know literally everything there is. Look at that face. That face is fear. That is fear in an animal. Okay, let's get off my Babarusas here and go check in on your favorite and mine, the tortoises. How are you guys feeling today? Okay, you don't quite have enough space crowding issues. I'm going to have to move you again, aren't I? Actually, I say that. I've got multiple tortoise eyes. What if... I've been threatening to get rid of a few of you. Where is... Because I've got one who's not like the others. One of these things is not like the others. Yes, I grew up on Sesame Street like the rest of you. Aldabra, Aldabra, Aldabra. Oh, did I lose my giant Galapagos? No. So, Alfredo. First of all, great name. Love that. Alfredo, you're kind of the um the odd tortoise out here, aren't you? You don't really fit in at all. What if we just got rid of Alfredo? Um, how about we just released you? That's like a nice thing to do. That's a nice thing to do. And I'll get 48 magic leaf points. Alfredo, you're going home to the Galapagos. Book yourself a flight, kid. Now, I do kind of notice in all this, that I haven't been paying attention at all, because I don't, um, that the money has seemed to have been cl clicking up a little bit. We actually seem to be doing a little better. Probably in no small part to my Babarusas over here, because they're the best animal ever. Uh, so, this area here, I could maybe see that as... I could get a very tiny enclosure in there. For what? I have no idea. Um, also, comments folks were recommending, like, the exhibit things, you know, where you put, like, bugs and frogs and stuff. Totally on board with that, by the way. Totally on board with that. That's a bigger thing than I, I want to do, because it's a temperature thing, and I've messed around with this game a little bit on my own, and I've messed around with those things a fair bit, and it's all about the temperature, and that was what the comments said, too. You know, you're going to need kind of a building to put them in. You're going to need to maintain the temperature on them, but those little exhibits, those are things are a snap otherwise. Throw a few centipedes in there, and people just come streaming in, so that might work for something like that. Maybe we could do some small exhibit things here, like exhibit trading. Just show me. For argument's sake, yeah. Amazonian giant centipede. That is... Oh, God. I'm just... I'm quivering just thinking about that. Uh, frogs. Everybody loves frogs, okay? Frogs we could do. Uh, whatever that is. Naxodil. Isn't that... Uh, never mind. Never mind. I'm going back to another game. Boa constrictors. Okay? That could be a cool thing to put in there. Spiders. Lots of spiders. Lots of spiders, in fact. What are you? A brown-throated sloth. Really? You live in, like, an exhibit. You don't have an enclosure. Because those are... Fairly large animals, aren't they? Those things kind of big. And I, I can hear you saying, Dave, you could go to the Zoopedia. You could find out all about them. Yeah, but, you know, Barbarossa's butterflies. I could have a butterfly exhibit. But anyway, we'll, we'll come back to those. We'll definitely come back to those. Little, like, just a box and things are in there. And I don't really have to do that much to them to keep them going. Okay, what would be probably better over here than an enclosure is more places for people to spend their money. That might be ideal. This, I, I, I think there's a path going up here. I don't want to put too much in here. But this, this could be, some again, somewhere where people spend money, which would be ideal. So I do have an ATM. Could put that up. So how about we put up an ATM to start to make sure people have money to spend. Do I have anything interesting in shops that I'm not using? Hat's fantastic again. Just a memento. Looney balloons. Looney, excuse me, Looney balloons. Looney balloons. Okay, let's keep it simple, because if I'm going to put one of the, like, generic things up, I'm going to want to work on that, and that's going to take some time. So these ones, Jose's about to die of old age. Not the disease, because he was plague-ridden forever. So I'm just going to keep these ones simple, and then later we'll do some of the generic ones, and I can kind of fidget with that. Um, Bernie's Bakes, do I have one of those? I do, actually, but I don't have just the regular, like, Planet Zoo food. So let's do that. Um, and again, we'll, we'll work with, you know, construction and design and that kind of thing. It's just, it's time-consuming. And this has been all about the Babarusas. So I can't, I can't take attention away from the Babarusas just to do things like, you know, design. So we'll put a chief beef up there, and then how about a drinks thing to go with it? Yeah, just a regular old generic Planet Zoo gulpy all right nothing fancy here we'll work on vaguely fancy later get that to go there okay and then we'll decorate around that i think that is an excellent place to call it on planet zoo for today tortoises are better 
better. Not great, better. Babarusas, awesome. They are loving the environment around here. Oh, and I see we've decided to feed them too, which is great. Okay, somebody's dumping some food in there. Fantastic. And we'll learn more about the Babarusas and we'll get their habitat even better. Next step is, oh, hang on. Let me see what my mechanic research is. Is that more barriers? Yeah, why don't you keep going on that, Mohammed? That sounds good because there's like way cooler barriers than what we're doing right now. Um, what is your problem? Uh, the animal is stressed. Okay, we'll go live in a burrow. I gave you tons of them. We're low on cash. Yep, I just put up a couple of stores. I'm not surprised. Vet research. What did we learn here? Uh, well, we learned about salmonella. Oh, good. Okay, so Adelaide, why don't you get... Where are you, Adelaide? Why don't you get off salmonella? I'm sorry, Chris is doing salmonella. Why don't you get off salmonella and do... I don't even know what this is, but just... Uh, where's, where's Chris? Chris, come here. No, no, Chris, come here. Just do mycoplasmosis because... It sounds cool. All right. So we're going to wrap up Planet Zoo for today. We'll come back to more of this next time. I think next time is going to be a largely letting time tick along and doing small decorative stuff. Trying to flesh this out. Get people more happy with the environment. I mean the guests, not the animals. I spent today working on the animal environment. I think next time we're going to work on the people environment. And we've managed to keep the protesters out for a little bit. So let's see if we can keep that nonsense going. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of Planet Zoo. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth. All right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense. All right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire. And uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there. <laughs>